Hello, church. It's Pastor Mike. I pray that the Lord is continuing to bless you during this, this crazy time that we're in. Uh, and I trust that he will. His scripture says that he will be with us through all kinds of things like this. And he will bring us out on the other side even stronger than before. Uh, you know, it reminds me of the story in the Old Testament uh, about Joseph and how his brothers were jealous and sold him into slavery into Egypt. And bad things happened while he was there. But, but in the end, the final story, uh, he stands before his brothers as a ruler in Egypt. He forgives them and he says to them, you know what you did, you intended for evil, but God intended it for good. You know, even during this time, God is going to bring blessing and he's going to make us strong. He's going to make the church strong and he's going to make us strong as individuals, as his children. Now, uh, I want to just give you a little bit of an encouragement about the church, what's going on. I pray that you are watching the videos and the teachings that are going out. Um, just understand my heart and my calling is to teach the Word of God. That is what I do primarily as a pastor. I know as a pastor I do many things, but my primary call is to teach the Word of God. And I pray that these videos are being an encouragement to you um, and, and, and useful to you in your, in your spiritual growth. Uh, beyond that, the church is also continuing its ministry. We've been uh, helping folks get groceries or other things that they need when they don't really need to get out of the house. We've done our best to, to keep up in contact, folks, to to try to uh, detour some of the depression and loneliness that comes with, with this kind of isolation and what's going on right now. Um, and the Lord is blessed with several in our church that have volunteered to make those contacts and to try to keep up with folks and encourage them. Uh, so ministry is continuing in the church. But there's one area of ministry that all of us are asked to do in Scripture that is easy to forget at this time um, because we're not in the church building together. And that's the giving of our tithes and our offerings. Now, I know the first thing that pops in your mind is, uh-oh, here comes the TV evangelist. <laughs> this is not what we're, what we're speaking of. I've, I've got a scripture I want to talk to you about this morning. And I think it's going to be a little contradictory to what a lot of these TV folks are telling you these days. Uh, the scripture is in Malachi 310. Now it starts off by saying, saying, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. Right now that's the church. It's the, the place that we start from to accomplish the ministry together that God has called us to. So bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Now that part about food is speaking of ministry. It's speaking of the ability to accomplish the things and to serve and to help uh, in what the church should be doing um, to continue doing that. Um, we know that tithe itself it just simply means tenth. Um, it's a tenth of what we receive uh, that we give back to God that is his to accomplish the work here on earth that he calls us to. So it says to bring that into the storehouse. But here's the section that is taken out of context that I want you to understand. It says, and try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Now, I know on TV, many of these preachers will say to you, send in this amount of money and you'll be, the Lord will bless you and you'll be rich and you'll have fancy cars and houses and all this. My friends, that is never what scripture has said. The blessings that we receive from God typically are found not in riches and wealth, but in things like peace and joy and security. Those are the things that God offers us. The blessings from God, especially to the New Testament church, is not always in wealth, but it is in security and peace and joy. And I believe that to be something much more important than wealth. So God tells us that we are to give. And, and to be honest with you, church, church um, Trinity Baptist Church, our ministries here, it moves forward only as you give. So I trust that you will pray and that the Lord will... Uh, will encourage you to give in some way. Now, the question is at these times, how in the world do we give? How do we do that when we're not in the church building? Um, well, I just wanted to give you an encouragement and tell you that there are ways that you can give. Um, we are not a majorly tech-savvy church here. A lot of churches are giving online. Um, if that's something you're interested in, please let me know because it, it is something we can set up. Um, but until that time, there are some ways that you can give. You can mail it to Trinity Baptist Church. We're at P.O. Box 448 here in Binkelman. Uh, you see the address there. Um, you know, if, if you're out and about and you don't mind, we can 
keep our social distancing and you're welcome to drop by the church or by my house or Miss Darla's and, and get it. We'll, we'll make sure to get it where it needs to be. Um, or you can call uh, if you're at home and and uh, maybe you don't want to get out at this time and that's understandable. If you call me, I'll, I'll ride by. You can leave it out on the doorstep and maybe I can talk to you and pray for you through the doorway or something. Uh, but I can pick that up for you. Um, but it's important that we continue to do the things that God has called us to do. And one of those things is to support our ministries, support our church financially. So be in prayer about that. Think about that. And we'll trust that God will lead you in that way. God bless you. Call me if you need me. I keep saying that, but I want you to understand I mean that. Call me if you need me. God bless you. Bye-bye.